everyone welcome to fire soul tarot today i'm going to be looking at who is your soulmate so i'm gonna be asking uh, who, are, who are they at their core what's currently happening in their life how are they going to how are you going to meet them what are your first impressions of them and um, when are you going to meet them and also um, some physical traits possible zodiac signs some letter tiles for their initials and i'm going to see also their country of origin so let's start uh, okay so pile one pile two pile three pause the video if you need more time hi pile one welcome to your reading if you picked the moonstone um so i'm gonna be looking at this card later and for now let's have a look at uh, their um, animal spirit so we have the frog with the frog spirit this person um it's somebody that uh, somebody that needs um, cleansing and uh, rejuvenation regularly because they tend to get uh, overworked and uh, also undernourished if they don't take uh, properly care of themselves so um, they need to practice self-care regularly uh, also this person could love uh, living near a body of water so uh, they could live near the ocean or uh, near a lake something of that sort so let's now have a look uh, further with uh, some tarot i'm going to just have uh, one card for um, looking at who is your soulmate so i'm going to have a look at uh, just one card that represents this person and can give us an indication of this person so let's see okay so this person uh, has a tendency to fight for what they um for the, what they want and what they love um fight for what they're passionate about this is what i'm getting um and uh, they also are very much um, a person that uh, guards their own uh, space so um you know their space is like um, a place where uh, where they don't want anybody um to interfere with what they're doing so they're going to be guarding their space very much um so let me see now with the other oracle cards so I'm going to shuffle uh, off camera for the oracle cards and then I'll come back when the spread is ready. Okay, pile one. So the first question that we are asking is uh, who, who is your soulmate at their core? So I've now uh, got here a picture of uh, who they are. So this person, um, what they've uh, had to do during their life has been um, to defend themselves. That's why this seven of wands came out. Basically, with this um, card of the I'm sorry, defensive, defenselessness, righting past wrongs and uprooting, this person has had um, to, um, during the life they had, uh, I'm sorry, the camera is hitting the one seven. What they had to do in their life was that um, there has been a time in their life whereby they had to uproot themselves themselves from uh, a situation that was hurting them something that was not working for them there was an, an environment that was probably toxic so they had to defend themselves themselves from it and then they had to right uh, right the wrongs that they had um, that they had to endure so this person uh, has had to defend themselves as we saw and kind of fight in their corner so um after this situation this person um, has it uh, as it is it needed to heal so here it says castle it's time for healing not war so this person had to kind of uh, shift from a time whereby they were uh, literally battling uh, with with some environment and uh, and then they started the healing because this person being the frog they they tend to either overwork themselves or get drained from their energy very easily especially if they're very empathic the, the energies of others might even uh, affect their level of energy so this person had to defend themselves from energy vampires people that were just taken from them this is what i'm getting and um, they had to find the balance here it says find the balance between your work rest and playtime and you will have more energy 
harmony and productivity in your life take a power nap so they had to learn also to take proper rest because um they did they did have uh, this tendency of completely drain their energy down to the ground so um they had to learn about balancing themselves and um also there is this card of the leaving leave the past behind so this person has had to uproot themselves from a situation that was hurting them and leave this past behind with the last quarter moon in capricorn capricorn could be in their chart um as well as gemini i have here the answers you need are coming full full moon in gemini so with this card basically there has been a time for them where um, they had to leave this past behind and uh, and they couldn't see yet um what was the 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 way forward so um they had to kind of rely on uh, their intuition in uh, in understanding that uh, the solution to this problem or this situation and so the answers that they were seeking um were coming for them and um also um this person has had to work and heal um their um let's say a wound of uh, feeling a bit insecure about um who they were and actually uh fully understanding their their beauty so we have two cards here that say beauty number 17 could be relevant uh, in as in their birthday or a relevant number in their life and or in your life and you are perfectly beautiful so this is a message just repeating here uh, twice and um, this to me means that this person has had to understand that uh, just the way they were just their, their unique self um, they had to understand that they were beautiful no matter who they were um, you see in this picture there are several different uh, type of people and no matter who they were they had to understand their own beauty the inner and outer beauty and um, so this person has had to work um, on understanding this about them and uh, accepting fully who they were in their uniqueness in fact this card appeared as well came out um, the penguin authentic reach out to your tribe in times of need family gives you strength when you face the storm love your uniqueness you are full of surprises break free from others expectations and just be yourself so as you can see here there is the breaking free from others expectations so other people in their environment had put pressure on them to sort of let's say perform and uh, this person had uh, to free themselves from this and understand that um they were they were um, you know they were a unique person and that there was a uh, beauty in that uniqueness of theirs and um, that they're full of uh, qualities at good surprises and uh, just by being their themselves so um, this person has learned how to be authentic to fight uh, for their corner to fight for who they are and uh, without listening to other people's judgment or expectations or uh, pressures so it seems like a person that's really worked a lot and has gained uh, a point of like a strength in them um also i see this map maker of destiny says authentic purpose so the word authentic comes up again so this person has had to learn um how to be authentic and therefore to embrace their purpose in life in an authentic way without being uh, afraid of being judged or not meeting the expectations of others also um they um they follow their inspiration and their free will so they very much um embarked on their journey on their own journey whereby they just follow their free will they don't obey to others people's or society expectations basically the number 24 could be their age or your age or a number relevant as a birth uh, day and therefore then they've embraced their power of creation so they are basically now a, a potent manifester in their life so they're actually able to bring to reality the what uh, what their life purpose is and uh, and how beautiful is this last card uh, i see the light number 19 this could be your age their age or a relevant date of birth 
So the frequency of the light supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more the light we feel, the more the light we evoke in others. So this is very beautiful because it's um, showing that um, your soulmate is somebody that um, has learned how to express joy in their life, like how to be joyful uh, regardless of uh, other people, like they don't, they couldn't care less about other people's judgment expectations uh, they, ju they just want to express now themselves with the light and and uh, this energy will then uh, kind of transmit to the environment around them and um, and probably that's a life life purpose partially you know it's like to kind of uh, bring a certain energy in their surroundings and therefore evoke this this feeling of delight in others which uh, is something really precious because i don't think I mean, uh, often people uh, lose this kind of sense of delight for life. So I think uh, because your uh, soulmate is bringing this, is going to be a very joyous person to be around. So this is what I see for this spread. Now I'm going to um, clear it out. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here I am back. So uh, we're going to now see what's currently happening in their life. Um, I'm going to see with the Tarot first and then with the Lenormand. Just to have more information. So let's see accurate messages for time number one about their soulmate. What's happening currently in their life? So let's get the most accurate messages for time number one. Let's see. So what's happening? So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Eight of Swords reverse, the Devil reverse, the Eight of Wands reverse. The Queen of Swords, and at the bottom we have the Hermit. Okay, so let me reflect for a minute. Okay, I see clearly this, uh, very clearly, like, it literally it talks about what we just talked with the, um, who are they through the other Oracle cards, because this person is starting a new uh, concrete uh, reality for them. It could be even a new uh, job or a new, um, a new project that they've started recently. Because they freed themselves from this toxic energy that was surrounding them, so that was blocking them, you know, from uh, creating the reality that they wanted. So they literally freed themselves from this toxic environment. And with the eight of uh, ones in reverse, they stopped communicating. They completely isolated these people that or environment that, uh, you know, uh, was uh, blocking them. And uh, they stopped investing in, uh, in whatever was, uh, was not working for them. So they, they withdrew their energy, like they literally, um, you know, pentacles are money, money is energy, and they withdrew their energy from this environment. They freed themselves with the Eight of uh, Swords in reverse, so they literally freed themselves from uh, overthinking, um, from this, let's say, imaginary trap. Like, literally, they uh, understood that they had the power over this situation. So they freed themselves and they cut off with the Queen of Swords anybody that was uh, not uh, serving any purpose in their life and they set their boundaries uh, upright like uh, right they they write they righted their wrongs as we saw and uh, and then they moved on to um kind of uh, going to a hermit mode whereby they uh, started reflecting about their life journey their life purpose what they wanted to achieve and so then they brought this new beginning in their life so when you're going to meet them they're going to be in this phase where they have already started a new project for themselves. Now I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to have a look more with the Lenormand as well. So let's see with this one. What are they currently doing? Let's see. What's currently happening in their life? Okay, the stork. This couldn't be resonating more. So first of all with the stork. This person is basically starting something completely new. This could be even like, um, you know, in a, in a reading could be even the birth of a child. Now, of course, that's probably not the case. But it might even mean that uh, when you will meet, you will have a child together. This could be also a message. Um, so anyway, with the Sork, there is this uh, rebirth for this person. This is uh, a new start completely from in their life. Letter Q could be relevant to you or your person. And um, 17 also could be, this is repeating actually, this saw it earlier. So 17 could be a relevant number either for a, a birthday or, or something, some number that's repeating in your lives. Let me see more, I want to actually 
get a few more cards for this oh yeah look they they're gaining now their uh, stability as well through this new project through this new work that they're carrying out they're actually establishing themselves number four could be relevant to the number that you see frequently and k could be an initial that's resonating for you or for your person um but yeah basically they um they are bringing forward that Ace of Pentacles, which is about stability. This is a card of stability. So they are building their own uh, foundation for their life. Let's see one more. So, okay, so this person with the dice, they are uh, they're sort of uh, taking a gamble on in life. They're, you know, they're basically uh, living to fate. To bring them what uh, they want what do they need what they want for their life and they're you know they're putting their effort in and then they're waiting for uh, for the situations to work for them you know to you know to get basically the right uh, situation once you do your work then it, it's up to the universe to bring you what what you need the number 39 could be their age or your age or a relevant number that you see okay so we've seen this spread now i'm going to go to the next question okay let's see now how are you going to meet your soulmate let me have a look so the next question is how are you going to meet them so let's see for pile number one what, how are they going to meet them strength reverse knight of pentacles reverse the lovers reverse well, I'm not going to take reverses for this question, to be honest. It doesn't really give uh, any difference in this particular case. It's uh, it's irrelevant. Um, okay, so let me see. Let me just reflect for one minute on these cards. Okay, so with the lovers, I see that this is going to be literally like a chance meeting. Like, you're not going to expect it. And it's literally going to happen out of the blue. Because you see, there is the the angel here from. So this is a a, a meeting that, that's decided by the divine. There is no not, no action that's going to change the the outcome. Like this is a, sort of a fated meeting, so it's just going to happen without you even uh, searching for it. And with the Knight of Pentacles and the Strength, I, I, this is telling me that. Um, um, they are probably going to offer you help in some way so um you know probably you you'll meet them uh, somewhere just very common it could be on on you know while you're walking on the street and maybe you drop something or you know something like that that basically this person is going to help you and then you're going to start talking uh, this is how i see this um, this situation they're going to offer something to you some sort of help um now um also i see this happening uh, in daylight so there is the three cards they all have daylight so it's not going to be like meeting meeting in a evening out no this is going to be in the full daylight in the open air somewhere in the open air okay so um let me see now the next one okay so i'm going to see now what's uh, what are your first impressions of them so let's see So for pile number one, what are the their first impressions of their soulmate? Let's see. Okay, death. The chariot. The ace of swords. Okay, let me think. Okay, so um, first of all, you are going to feel... Um, like this is a significant person because we have two major arcana so major arcana are uh, major energies so you're going to feel that uh, you know the energy you get from this person is not just is insignificant this is somebody that's going to leave the mark when when you meet them and uh, also with the chariot uh, they're going to, you're going to see them your first impression is going to be of somebody that uh, of them uh, you're going to see them as somebody that uh, is kind of a very much uh, a dynamic person and uh, somebody that's uh, in their power you know like it's somebody in their power and and very dynamic very that's got like a sense of enterprise as a person also with the death um, through the conversation you, you will understand that this person has gone through 
major changes in their life and with uh, the ace of swords sorts, sorry ace of swords the, uh, you're going to understand that this person uh, like the impression that they give you is that they are very authentic and that they speak their truth and that you know um, they mean what they say and they do what they say so everything corresponds their actions their words so this is a straightforward type of person and um, um, we saw that with the authentic card with the penguins earlier of uh, who they are of course so your first impression is actually going to be corresponding to to who they are and also with that to what they had gone through to what they have gone through in their life because we've seen all the transformation that they've gone through um so yes uh, this sounds uh, pretty much accurate to me uh now let, let me have a look also i want to show through my personal deck the you know the, the first impression is characteristics now in this deck there are sort of um positive traits and also shadow traits i say so we'll see what comes out anyway so what are pile number one's first impressions of the soulmate let's see interesting okay and uh, secretive let's see more funny <laughs> yeah with the delight card that we saw earlier the, you know the fact that they're funny it doesn't actually surprise me respectful i'll see two more and joyous you see the delight card comes out again like uh, you know that kind of spirit and passive okay we don't really see that coming because of the um, of the chariot uh, you know being there that gave me a sense of the you know dynamic although it did come out in reverse so that might be the the reason why this is also maybe this is just uh, one of their traits like sometimes they they don't look like they're uh, doing much i don't know so yeah this is what we get, got anyway so um and let's see the next question so um okay for when you're going to meet them i want to see if this oracle okay this oracle says success so uh, this tells me that uh, you know when you're when you when you meet it's going to be a success for the two of you like you're going to feel like is a sort of a win situation for the two of you but i want to see when so i'm gonna have a look with tarot about when i want to give you like um, the range of the months within which or yeah or the years i mean depending let's see what's the time range within which part one is gonna meet the, uh, the soulmate the future soulmate the next soulmate the lovers okay so six so you could meet them in june actually and the three of sorts so three so you could meet them between three and six months or you could meet them in uh, march or in uh, june june also uh, spoke to me earlier when i did the other spread so june could be relevant and summer could be relevant because we saw all the sunshine in the guards so march uh, could be uh, as soon as well no it's already passed so maybe in a year so that could be mean then either in june so this summer or in a year depending on when you're watching this video anyway it's timeless so just take it uh, it could be also between uh, three and six months from when you watch this video or three and six years but that would be a very very long uh, type of range or it could be three between three weeks and six weeks so take it as uh, as you will and you know you'll see it anyway when, when it happens um so what else are we asking oh yes we're gonna ask now um their yeah their potential physical traits so let me have a look at this all right so what are the pile number one potential physical traits about their uh, next one let's see so they could have brown hair or they could be average height green eyes black hair and gray hair okay more hair medium length hair okay so this is what i get and here at the bottom there is wavy hair i'm gonna just put it out as well okay now let me see um so we've seen this now we'll see the next one is what's the potential zodiac sign 
so we have seen death so they could be a scorpio we have seen the frog that's a water element element so they they could be a scorpio pisces or, or cancer and uh, we saw the lovers so they could be a gemini and uh, in the previous spread we saw also a capricorn and gemini again so this, these are the most relevant ones that have come out so far but let's see cancer again so they, they could be cancer aquarius or they could have it in their chart and taurus and pisces yeah with the chariot also cancer so yeah these are uh, the possible the potential ones for zodiac signs or in their chart let's see now um what country of origin could they be coming from let's see okay these are bouncing out canada republic of latvia italy let's see a few more they could be from portugal or republic of argentina or russia okay so these are the potential countries now i'm gonna have a look at letter tiles hold on okay so let's see the initials n e k let's see a few more q we saw q earlier as well in the normal spread and then a x w or c okay so this could be their initials or your initials as well okay now let me see yeah so actually this is this was the last part of the reading uh, pile number one so i hope this uh, resonated with you and um uh, please subscribe if you want to show your uh, support to me and uh, until the next time take good care of yourself hi pal two welcome to your reading if you pick the carnelian stone now we're going to have a look later at this card and uh, let's see now first of all the animal card for your um, future uh, soulmate so let's see uh, for your next soulmate um, so the gazelle that's the animal representing their spirit so this person is somebody sophisticated somebody that um, um, is also very gracious and uh, and also they, they have a tendency to be um, hyper aware so kind of very sensitive to their environment and on the gu on guard sometimes you know very hyper aware of dangers and uh, and things of that sort so sometimes they can't really relax and enjoy the the you know the beautiful things that they've created for themselves in their life because they you know they they are they are um, kind of um, under threat they feel under threat sometimes from the surrounding environment and with this is also the water element so um, they, they could be a scorpio cancer or a pisces potentially but let's see now uh, i'm going to actually have a look with taro i pull out one card to represent uh, who they are at their core and then i'm going to have a look through several different uh, oracle decks who are at their core again uh, but I'll, I'll shuffle the other cards uh, off camera just because it's very long and you know otherwise you'll, you know you'll be here forever waiting for me to pick all the cards so i'm going to just uh, select the one uh, for you know for uh, them in um, for the tarot and then the others i'll do them off camera but let's start with the tarot so who are they at their core with the temperance this is a person that um, is very capable of uh, balancing themselves so um, they um, they constantly work on uh, on their balance and on uh, tempering their uh, their feelings and uh, so it is gonna be it's gonna be somebody that whose uh, presence uh, is uh, calming and uh, healing um so and uh, you know uh, we see this uh, beautiful halo uh, with, with the angel figure so this is somebody really, really beautiful really um gracious really somebody that um it can be an angelic presence you know like what i mean is that uh, you're gonna feel like uh, this person is sort of a an hurt angel like somebody that's uh, really there for the good you know for the good of humanity like uh, somebody very very nice um that is gonna feel nearly angelic 
No, I'm gonna now uh, shuffle of camera with the other oracles and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, file two. So who are the, their core? First of all, I see these three cards. They speak to me of the same, of the same thing. So you see the, the third eye here on this angel. So And uh, here it says clear vision. And here it says reveal what needs to be seen. So this person um, could be very much uh, clairvoyant, like somebody that actually sees through the veil and, uh, you know, gets uh, information that way. And so this person could be really having, like, um, could have psychic powers. And uh, with this, so they're able to reveal uh, information that needs to be seen to other people. And... Um, here there is discernment, clear vision and details, so they also get the information that is uh, very much detailed. The ring master of scrutiny. So all these cards are talking about somebody that's capable of uh, accessing information that's uh, very important. And um, also I see um, that... Um, this person has had uh, to protect themselves. This is the way uh, it says weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. And here it says stand up for yourself. So this person has had to protect themselves because being this, um, mm, this kind nature um, person, they would have easily been taken advantage of from people that didn't have uh, good intentions. And also because this person is um, somebody very generous, like here he says, perform a random act of kindness. So this person is uh, generous with their time, energy, material things. So it's somebody that, um, it's a giver. So... Um, people would have easily taken advantage of this person and therefore they had to um, to set boundaries, as it says in this card, and let go of any burdens that came from outside and it, that it was not for them to carry. And they had to very much stand up for themselves. Um, and uh, also I see something really beautiful about this person, which is that um, through their dreams, it could be daydreams or dreams during night time, they actually, without even probably even realizing, they bring things to reality. So you see also again, we have the angel wings here and there. So this person is very much uh, connected to the divine. And uh, here it says you're very close to achieving your goal. So this is what, you know, bringing dreams to reality with this Jibus moon, and then we also have growth and abundance. So the growth card here and the abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance, release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. So um, this person is somebody that uh, like works on their growth and therefore brings abundance in their life. Um, so when you're, when you're meeting them, I think they're going to be in this um, moment where uh, they're very close to achieving what they want to achieve for their, themselves. Also, there is the emergence card, which is very related to the, side, the one beside about their animal spirit here. So with the emergence card, now 25 could be your age or their age or in the relevant number as a date of birth. Here it says the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from the pl that place so th there is um there is some very um childlike nature to this person which uh, we can also see through the gazelle because when you look at the gazelle for example i mean uh, to me for example their eyes really reminds me like of they're so big that it reminds of baby eyes and so there is this childlike very innocent nature about this person as well as with temperance we saw the this sort of angelic presence so this person um, is not uh, detached for them from their inner child this person is very much 
able to um, still live life in a with a spirit of wonderment and um, and to see what unfolds from that place and with the sea otter happiness Iris says as well be the master of playful living so this playful attitude this playful spirit of this person um, is you know is showing in many cards so the, when when you're going to meet them you're going to recognize them because they're going to be very playful and uh, they also don't have uh, particular expectations they enjoy every day for what uh, it gives and uh, they practice letting go of worries and to choose uh, you know love in general like um, sort of you know loving feelings and to be somebody pretty much uh, on a good spirit um, and then surrender to the waves so they go with the flow of life just like an otter getting drifted by the current you know and uh, your good destiny of love is sure so they they know that something good will come to the reality you know their dreams and their abundance so there is a lot of uh, of this kind of feeling about this uh, spread in regards to the who, who they are at their core okay so i'm going to clear this out now and i'm going to go to the next question okay so the next question is what's uh, currently happening in uh, in their life so let's see for pile number two let's get the most accurate messages about what's going on in their uh, next soulmate's life let's see um ten of swords reverse six of wands reverse the hermit reverse the two of swords the four of cups the eight of cups and at the bottom we have the queen of wands okay so first of all they could be a fire sun aries leo or a sagittarius and we saw that uh, sagittarius as well with the temperance card um so what i see here is that uh, this person um went through first of all went through some betrayal as we saw before um and they they have though freed themselves they've let go of that kind of energy in the past so this this is done so they're not anymore in that kind of um the, the ending is has happened and they have even um moved on from that to on okay so what was happening then uh, as we said there was this ending which made them feel um, initially like as if they they were on a losing uh, side you know they were kind of uh, a bit lost and they had uh, no clarity on how to proceed forward and uh, so they went into this um, time where um, where they were very um, like they were very emotionally detached you know they were like going through this period whereby they um, they were very closed off and in fact they went to, to an hermit stage during which they um, walked away from everything that wasn't working in their life and then they came out of this hermit stage once they had uh, they had regained clarity so what's happening in their life right now is that they've actually now come to the point of uh, feeling empowered again with the queen of wands so they've gone through this process you see so they have uh, walked away from what wasn't serving them uh, they, they, they've gone through periods of confusion and feeling uh, unworthy feeling uns unsuccessful and betrayed but they've come out of it and now they are actually uh, very much empowered and um, and they are currently somebody that, as we see with the black cat, they are very much connected to the divine. So as we said before, this person could have uh, uh, psychic gifts and, um, you know, um, and be a bit of a, either a priest or a priestess. You know, somebody that uh, is able to gain knowledge from, um, you know, uh, through either dreams or, or through visions, things of that sort. Okay. So uh, I'm going now to see more about uh, what's going on in their life with the Norman deck. So let me clear this out. Okay, so for file two, what, what's currently happening in uh, their soulmate's life? The next soulmate's life, what's currently happening for file number two? 
Yes, they free themselves from this cage that uh, was trapping them. So the situation that uh, was really uh, keep, keeping them uh, blocked, you know, from uh, pursuing their uh, dreams, they free themselves with this key, and uh, they're blossoming right now. They're you know they're blooming. Um, Thirty three could be their age or uh, your age. Eight could be the relevant date of uh, birth for month of birth. Let's see more. The lilies, yeah, this person has uh, reached a sense of peace now. K could be their uh, initial or your initial. 30 could be their uh, age or your age. And so this person is uh, currently reached a sense of calm and peace in their life with the lilies. And one last card. Uh, this is the garden, so um, number 20. And uh, they could be 20 years of age or that's your age and 8 again. So eight is repeating twice. You could be seeing eight, eight, as you approach uh, meeting this person, or it could be their month of uh, birth or a date of birth. Uh, but uh, let me think about the garden one second. Um, with the park being uh, a location, um, or the park or the garden, um, I think that this in, this is an indication how you could meet them. Maybe you will meet them in a public uh, space. It could be it could be a park, a garden, a concert, uh, you know, or um, a museum. Some somewhere public, a library. You know, you could meet them in a public space. Basically, this is what I'm getting from this card. Okay, now I'm gonna clear this out and go to the next question. Okay, so the next question is how are you going to meet your uh, next soulmate? So let's have a look at that. So first of all, I'm going to shuffle properly and see how are you going to meet them the four of swords the nine of cups reverse the sun actually when i do this question i never take reversals because it doesn't really make sense so um okay so let's see first of all you could meet them in uh, daylight so it could be a very sunny day when you meet them um and you could be outdoor um let me let me also think uh, you could meet them uh, when you're going drinking you know with the cups here so you could be um, having fun and you know go for, go to a party or something of that sort and then you meet them and here it shows uh the four of swords shows you could meet them in a church this is how i see this picture you know you could literally meet them in a church as well if that's something you do. Um, let me think if I can get any other more message from the sun. One second. Well, I see um, I see a garden at the back. So you, you, you could also meet them uh, in a garden. In a public garden. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for how are you going to meet them. Now, let's see um, the next one. One second. The next question is when are you going to meet them? I'm going to have a look at this card because sometimes this show a timing. Let's see. Be assertive. Okay. So uh, it doesn't really say a specific time. It just suggests that uh, um, when you meet them, you need to be assertive. You need to speak uh, openly with this person. So, uh, but I want to see the timing with the tarot. So let's see. Can we have uh, a time frame within which you're going to meet this person? Let's see. Okay, so we have two. So between two months. Okay, so it could be two weeks, two months. Within two weeks, two months, or two years. Or five weeks, five months, five years. Of course, the five years will be very long. But this is the range that I see of when. Um, also, it could be in May with the five, or it could be uh, in February with the, the two. And now I'm going to have a look at uh, the next question. Hold on. Okay, the next question is what are their first impressions, your first impressions of them? So let me see. Please give me the most clear and concise messages for pile number number two about what are their first impressions about their uh, future soulmate so five of cups reverse the magician and the star reverse um okay so 
you see them as um so the first impression is that they they went through some sadness in their life but that they've uh, freed themselves themselves from this uh, feeling of sadness also uh, that they are currently very empowered with the magician and that they are uh, bringing their dreams to reality so maybe through the conversation that you're going to have um, it's going to be very clear to you like the impression that they're giving you is that they are um, manifesting dreams into reality that they're literally bringing their vision for their life in uh, in practical terms to life and uh, and with the sudden reverse um, that they have completed uh, this healing journey whereby they have um, sorted out their emotions uh, of sadness and uh, pain from the past and uh, and even feeling maybe some guilt or uh, you know basically forgiving themselves and they've uh, completed this uh, cycle of uh, learning and uh, and you know and lessons and, uh, and that they feel like they have uh, reached a, a new level they were up leveled with the magician i i see that also want to see with my own deck uh, what are your first impressions let's see i made i put uh, some um, qualities they either uh, either uh, good um, personality traits or uh, or qualities uh, or, and there are also some um, shadow sides so let's see what comes out Okay, so this person's first impression is that they're cultivated, that um, they're attentive, that they are, okay, inconsistent, insincere, all right, let's see, aware, and uh, interesting. So, uh, first of all, with the aware card this is very much resonating with, with uh, who they are at their core because we saw that they have the psychic gifts so they they're very much aware about uh, what's going on in, re in the reality in front of them interesting yeah because clearly the person that's uh, this has got such a powerful insight insights um it's interesting now the insincere I wonder if people, uh, these are impressions, so it doesn't have to be who they are. But their first impression is they're insincere. Maybe you feel um, a little bit int intimidated by this person because they, uh, your impression is that they're powerful. And so maybe you're afraid that they are not exactly saying who they are. Like maybe that they want to appear more uh, naive than they actually are, if you know what I mean. So maybe in that kind of way. Inconsistent. Yeah, maybe with this playful uh, side of them that we saw, maybe you feel like they wouldn't be very practical and, you know, and uh, perseverant and, you know, all these kind of things. But actually, uh, it's just an impression, really. I don't think it's that's uh, what they came out from, who they are. Cultivated, so somebody that uh, has uh, studied a lot, learned a lot, has got some culture inattentive so they are uh, careful to your needs that's that's what the impression is and uh, listening carefully to you you know with the big long ears of the gazelle they have very good uh, sense of hearing so they're a good listener this person that's what i'm getting okay so we've seen this now we're going to have a look at um, their possible uh, physical traits so let me clear this out and let's see First of all, with the gazelle, I think they are going to have a very deep eyes, very deep uh, expression in their eyes. Um, and they're possibly going to be graceful, so um, I expect them to be lo like good looking, you know, as, a, as in physical terms. So let's see. Um, okay, so they have medium tone skin, grey eyes, dreadlocks they could have... Um, Red hair, um, they could be tall, and they could have dark skin as well. Okay, this is what I see for the physical traits. 
Now we are going to have a look at the possible zodiac signs. We already mentioned the Scorpio and the water signs, and we already mentioned the Sagittarius. But let's see through my deck what comes out. So, what could the, the potential zodiac signs be? Scorpio again. So Scorpio is very relevant in their chart. Gemini, Sagittarius. We saw that already, and one more, and Aquarius. So this is um. Their potential uh, either a zodiac sign or could be a placement in their birth chart. Now I'm gonna have a look at um, their possible uh, country of origin. So let's see what is the potential country of origin of the future um, uh, of the future soulmate for pile number two. So they could be from Russia, from Austria. Oh, this one wants to come out. They could be from Budapest. Sorry, from Hungary. What is the... Yeah, Hung Hungary or they could be from Estonia. Let's see a few more. Denmark, Italy and France. Okay, this is what I see for countries. Now let's have a look at um, uh, their initials. So what are the potential uh, initials of uh, I2 future uh, soulmate? So we have R, C, E, and Q. I'm going to have a look at the other pile that I have here. And they could... Also, so this could be your initial or their initial, let's see, um, M, T, G, and O, so this could be their initials or your initials, as I said, and yeah, uh, pile number two, this is uh, your reading, now, um, please uh, subscribe to the channel to show your uh, support i would really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and until the next time take good care of yourself hi pal number three welcome to your reading if you picked the amazonite crystal so we are going to have a look at this card later and uh, let's have a look at the spirit card for your pile so the sea serpent so this person first of all with the sea serpent sorry i have to move the camera one second there with the sea serpent this person um, is somebody that um, is very creative and um, they have gone through a lot of uh, healing processes so there's somebody that uh, is capable of uh, of healing themselves and um, and that um, um, are able to express their desires and express themselves in general so they're not holding back even in, in even in uh, essential ways so this is essential person uh, they express uh, all of their aspects um, freely. Uh, let's see now with the, the tarot. I'm going to have a look at uh, who they are at their core. So we already saw with this card. Let me just uh, grab my tarot cards one second. Okay, so for pile number three, who is uh, their soulmate at their core? Let's see with uh, one card first. Okay, so the five of pentacles reverse. So this person has gone through times where they have felt abandoned. This, this could be from their childhood. There could have been uh, a case of uh, being feeling feeling uh, neglected. Um, so th they could have had uh, issues in terms of uh, either losing their parents or uh, um, yeah, uh, situations where they maybe were um, in foster care. And therefore, it was like, um, there was this feeling anyway of um, not having a proper, uh, like initially, there was a feeling of any, not having a proper home. Uh, so feeling uh, left out in the cold. Uh, but, they, uh, but they came out of this because it's in reverse. So they kind of uh, regained their strength then after uh, this uh, pretty rough start, let's say. Now I'm going to shuffle off camera um, some other cards from my Oracle decks 
and, um, and then I'll come back with, when the spread is ready. Okay, pile three. So I got all the spread out. Um, I can see that uh, this person, having had, had this uh, rough start, they felt entrapped in their life initially, as if they couldn't move uh, from their situation. There was someone in their life that was extremely controlling, as you can see in this picture. This person has got a stick to punish this girl. So somebody was... Um, they could have even been abused. Now, uh, I'm not saying that's you, your specific case, but uh, it's a very it's a very good uh, possibility with the history that we have um, depicted from what their past has been like. So, and uh, 34 could be your age or their age. Anyway, they felt entrapped in uh, in a toxic environment initially, and so we see here the next card behind uh, underneath. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. So they really had to kind of step out of what was the comfort zone, which it doesn't seem to be anyway very comfortable, but at least it was something that they knew. And so coming out of your comfort zones often means even if you're unhappy, sometimes you stay in your comfort zone because you don't know how to move forward. So what they did is that they started changing one thing at a time. So change one thing today, start small. They started changing one thing at a time, this person. Because initially they felt uh, complacency. They felt like uh, they couldn't uh, change their situation. They felt entrapped. So we see this twice. And they were very sad about this. You know, they were very sad, very... There is snow in both these pictures. They felt very abandoned, very cold, very detached from reality. Um, so it was an extremely sad uh, period of their life, but uh, they came out of this. And uh, Cosmic star, star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, seed the light by staying grounded. So this person has had to work a lot on their uh, first chakra, the root chakra, because when you have uh, family issues, your, uh, your root chakra is going to be affected by it, and it's going to get blocked. So this person had to work a lot on grounding themselves. They also had to step out of their comfort zone. And here it says also go outside. So these two cards go hand in hand. It's time to go outside. The time in tune into the powerful peace of nature wherever you are. And feel at one with your habitat. So this person used uh, nature as a place to ground themselves. And, uh, and uh, you know, regain their power. Also, uh, with this uh, step into your power, yes, they very much did that. So, um, first quarter moon in Aries. So this could be an Aries or they could have it in their chart. And also with the um, links, keeper of secrets, because of what happened to them, in their uh, life, they uh, very much uh, learned to keep um, to keep uh, this, let's say, these skeletons from their past a secret, and even just uh, probably they didn't want to expose other people that uh, had uh, maybe been uh, not really a positive presence in their life. But they're uh, you know, it says here, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. So this person became really wise and gained a sense of knowing and whereby they they weren't anymore, uh, nobody could ever more deceive them as it happened before. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. So this person, uh, if they, they talked, you know, they could expose people to many from their past to trouble, you know, to go into trouble. But... Uh, they actually uh, kept these secrets sacred and in silence and solitude they, f they found their strength. Um, and uh, also they gained this, their sense of belief. Number 11. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. So this person... Uh, discover the, their talents, their skills, and 
and uh, gain the sense of self worth um, through connecting through to source. So this card can also indicate um, when you are feeling uh, not worthy when it's upright. You know, not not really self worth, but it's in reverse. So this person gained their sense of uh, self worth. And then they started celebrating life. The sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. So then they, uh, they embrace this joyful side of themselves. And here with gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. So they understood that uh, they had to work um, by themselves with the step in your power and you don't need someone else to fix you. So they understood their power, basically, and that they could fix themselves. 36 could be your age or their age. 32 as well, your age or their age. So they've now stepped into this time of abundance for them, celebrating life and having joyful activities. Okay, so I'm going to clear this out now. Okay, so now we're going to see through Tarot what's uh, currently happening in their life. So for pile number three, what's currently happening in uh, their uh, next soulmate life? Seven of uh, Pentacles reverse, the Sun in reverse, the King of Wands reverse. Okay, so um, let me reflect for a minute. So this person is currently not really seeing uh, yet that abundance, abundance that we talked about. So they're still like waiting for uh, something good to happen in their life. They're not really in a positive. Uh, the sun in reverse are not in a positive um, um, moment in their life and uh, they don't feel really empowered right now. So this is what I see. Let me check with the Norman as well. I want to see the clarifier with uh, the Norman about the situation. So what's currently happening in um, piles number three, soulmates life? Yeah, they need to, they need more stability. They need to anchor themselves, so they're working on this grounding. Uh, with 35 could be their age or your age. Number 9 could be a relevant number like date of birth. But yeah, they really need to, to find more grounding, you see. So this is actually explaining the card above it. So with the ship card, this person could be currently um, planning to move away, relocate, to move somewhere else and change their life because they're unhappy in, uh, in the current situation. Let's see one more. Okay, the dog. So let me just um, think. So with the dog card uh, coming after the ship, I think this person is trusting that this movement will bring them a good positive change in their life. Um, so they're seeking anyway loyalty uh, and friendship with this dog card. And that's why they're moving it towards, uh, towards another life, because they, don't, uh, they didn't like what was trapping them, what was the, the situation that was like um, not uh, like kind of toxic for them. So the previous uh, type of life was not anymore serving them. So they're moving towards a new reality. Number 10 could be relevant. Um, we have it twice, both in this card and that card. And uh, 18 could be also relevant or 3 as a date of birth. Okay, so we saw what's happening in their life. Let's go to the next question, which is how are, they, how are you going to meet them? So I'm going to have a look now with the tarot. I shuffle there first and then we're going to ask how are you going to meet the your future soul meet pile number three. Let's see. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, and High Priestess. Let me reflect for a minute. Okay, with the High Priestess, first of all, you could be um, seeing them in your dreams before they actually come to into your reality. With the Queen of Swords, you could meet them online. Um, and uh, also they could um, they could help you when uh, when you're going through some uh, issues and you're sad by uh, you know giving you words 
of comfort. Um, and you would meet them uh, outside in, a, in an outer space. Um, so um, maybe near a body of water, like a river, near your shoes. There is a river in this picture as well, so that, that's a possibility. Um, and it could be on a cloudy day, I see lots of clouds here. Um, now, I'm going to check uh, the next question. Hold on. Okay, for uh, when are you going to meet them? I'm going to have a look at this card. It says perfect timing. So when the time is right, we are going to meet them. But let's have a look with Tarot about uh, a specific uh, time span. You know, like a timeline. So let's see. When is uh, pile number three going to meet their future soulmate? So we have the five of swords of in, uh, within five uh, weeks, five months, five years. Or the hermit is number nine. So or nine weeks, nine months, I would say. I mean, nine years will be way too long. I think it's uh, between four, sorry, between five weeks and nine weeks, or five months and nine months. This is your timeline for meeting them. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the next question, which is what uh, is your first impression of them? What is the first impression of pile number? Three. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands Reverse, the Emperor. Okay, so your first impression of them is that, uh, first of all, um, that they're pretty serious. You know, they have uh, kind of this, this serious uh, gaze, nearly impenetrable. Um, you're going to feel like they are... Um, a powerful powerful they have a powerful uh, presence and that um, they feel like uh, even um, a bit of a protector you know somebody that uh, can provide and protect um, but you're going to also see a side of them that looks like they're not fully in their power yet so yes they're a powerful presence they have a powerful presence to them, but they're not yet, uh, they've not reached their all their goals. We saw this before, that um, they're still not happy, and they're still in a transformational phase, transitional phase as well, where they are uh, trying to reach their uh, dreams and goals. So they are not fully satisfied as, uh, you know, when, we, when you meet them about what they have achieved so far. But uh, that they're preparing their new beginning in life. So they're actually at the start point of something new for themselves. Something very concrete. Like it could be a new job, a new project, a new skill that they're developing. This is the first impression with the tarot. Now I'm going to have a look at the first impression with my own deck. With, oh, okay, consistent came out straight away, so I'm going to take it. So your first impression is that they are consistent and the emperor is very much that kind of embodies that kind of energy of somebody very much of a planner and strategize somebody that makes, makes a strategy. Let's see more. What's your first impression? Attractive. There are also shadow sides in this, so it's not just uh, positive traits, but we'll see what comes out. Genuine and practical. Let's see if it works. Open. And one last. Light-hearted. Very good. So, this is uh, what I got from this deck. Now we'll go to the next question, which is... Um, actually, it's not a question, it's the physical traits. So let's have a look at that. Alright, so what are the most likely physical traits of spine number three's future soulmate? They could have blonde hair, short hair, medium tone skin, hazel eyes. Very nice, 
curly hair now i'm gonna have a look at the most likely um signs zodiac signs we already saw aries in the previous spread and with the emperor and uh, we also saw with the queen of wands the fire signs so aries via sagittarius so this could be relevant in their chart as a placement let's see more about the signs with these cards so it could be a capricorn it could be a leo Libra and one more or a Virgo or everything in their chart. Now I'm going to have a look at uh, their potential country of origin. So, what are the possible countries of origin for pile number three? Austria, Norway. Lithuania, the United Kingdom, Eastern Japan, USA. So these are the potential countries of origin for your future soulmate. Then let me have a look now at the letter tile. Pile Tree, if this reading resonated with you and you're enjoying it, uh, please um, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate the support. Now let's have a look at the letter tiles. And thank you in advance if you decide to do that. Letter F. Um, w. This could be their initials or your initials. K. L. G O T and P Okay, so pile number 3, thank you so much for watching and this is uh, the end of your reading Please like, share and subscribe and until the next time, take care of yourself